women to win this race more than once. Two lengths of the pool. The women's 100 free world championship gold on the line. Slow start for Campbell again. Sarah Schwestrom was fastest in the semifinal in her first and last 50. That won't happen tonight. Campbell, Kate Campbell will charge coming home the last 50. Sort of like the men where Chalmers was charging on Dressel. That's exactly what Kate Campbell is going to do. It was a good start for Simone Manuel at the top of the screen in lane one. Has the lead with just 50 meters left. They're under world record pace. Schoistrom and Campbell were second and third. And Manuel still looking good up there in lane one. Well, she is breathing to the opposite side now. So she's not going to be able to see anybody coming home. But you know what? That might be just a good thing. She could just focus on her task. Here comes Simone Manuel. It looks like she's going to win gold from lane for Simone in the process of 30 swimmers. Campbell's youngest, younger sister, Bronte, is down there in lane eight. Oh, again, terrible. I'm sorry, Dan. .77. It's almost like she just falls in the pool and has to play catch up the entire way now. And you've got Simone Manuel down there in lane six trying to play catch up. They are packed. Schoistrom, Campbell, and Manuel. And then you've got the two lanes above them. Too close to call here. Different swimmers have a chance as they come to the wall. It's Manuel once again coming up big. Schoistrom with a silver, Campbell with a bronze. Ricky <laughs> Campbell here as the United States and Australia are just about dead even. In goes the clutch racer, Manuel, against Bronte Campbell. <laughs> 27 for their 21 hundredths of a second. 52 <laughs> 7 on. Cumberford, great job for her. 52 flat McKeon. Oh. And keep in mind how tough the Aussie women have been in the relays. They've been perfect with gold. And Manuel now entrusted to bring it home in this mixed freestyle. A three tenths lead over Bronte Campbell. And pulling away a little bit up there in lane four is Manuel, but Bronte Campbell not giving up. Here we go again, Dan. Dressel's cheering him on, trying to get his sixth gold medal of these championships. Simone Manuel with 10 meters left, holding on Bronte Campbell, closing a little bit on Simone, getting to the wall. It'll be the United States and Simone Manuel with a new world record. Hold at the last world, so in goes Simone Manuel. And she's ahead of it. 259.3 was the split. 258.5 right there. And 56 won. The battle continues for silver between Australia and Canada, but Simone Manuel wants to end these championships not only with a gold, but another world record for the United States. 56-1 again for Dahlia. She outsplit McKeon from Australia. Simone and now they're still ahead of world record pace. Manuel, who's been so brilliant here in Guangzhou, won the 100 free, won the 50 free, and it's appropriate that Manuel will bring these championships to a close. The only question is, is it going to be a world record? Well, way ahead of it. <laughs> They're going to to the wall, shatters it. The race is on for silver between Australia and Canada. And Australia gets it done with Kate Campbell finishing ahead of Penny Alexiak. Kate has the fastest time in the world. Bronte the second fastest. Alexiak now with that effort in the heats for the semifinals is the uh, third fastest. So all those in the final have top 10 times in the world. Simone Manuel. Way out here to Whitesell of the USA in lane 8. The 100 freestyle final for women. When they come to the surface, we'll see the yellow caps, and there are three of them. Schostrom of Sweden, and the two Campbells, Kate and Bronte. Bronte in lane two, up towards the top, or over to the right, second from the right. Kate's start was a little bit slower than everybody else. A point eight of a second was the reaction time, but once she hit the water, look at the, the world record line on her waist. A great first 50, 24.77. So the sisters are doing it at the moment. Kate Campbell, Bronte Campbell. Kate Campbell, C1 in lane four. Bronte in lane two. 
in between them is Manro of the USA. She's the threat at the moment. Oh, look, there's quite a few lining up now. This is not clear cut at all. And it's going to be Manuel in lane three. Olympic record, Manuel. No, Alexia. We've got. It's a dead heat. Dead heat. Oh, my goodness. Crowd helped her getting into this final. She's in lane one. Far away. It's the last night of finals, and it's a women's sprint. It's a 50-metre freestyle. They come up to 25 metres to go. Kromoa Jojo looks to be slightly ahead. There's some action, too, from Fran Halsell in lane six. There's the line. They're all in the line. Kromoa Jojo, Halsell. They'll go to the wall all together. Pick that one. Bloomer, in fact, ahead of me. Olympic champion for... Canada in the freestyle is in the water doing their butterfly leg. Simone Manuel leads for the USA. Is it all over? For the outstanding freestyler in the pool for the USA. Dana Volmer had the fastest fly split, 56 flat, so a very quick swim for her the USA coming to the last lap they are a body length in front look at this race for silver China Denmark they're going for it here we go the USA in control that's in lane four Canada, China. Canada and Australia Australia and two oh they're faded look at this on the outside here